There are few things more entertaining than seeing multimillionaire middle aged white guy Bill O'Reilly give poor people advice, like when he said, Hey, just save 25,000 bucks, then you'll feel much better about your economic standing or give black people advice or whatever. And you'll remember when Bill O'Reilly, apparently some kind of arbiter of race relations, told the story of when he went to, I believe it was Sylvia's restaurant in Harlem in New York City with Al Sharpton. And he was shocked that people weren't just yelling, hey, give me more iced tea, mf -er. You remember that, Lewis? That was just a classic Bill O'Reilly moment. That was one of Bill O'Reilly's best moments, top three. So now Bill O'Reilly is saying that, you know, the thing about weed is that in ghetto neighborhoods, some of the young black kids, it's just part of their culture to start smoking weed when they're nine years old. <laughs> Here's uh, some of that video for you to take a look at. Listen to this. Now look, the left is basically saying harmless, okay, which I don't agree with. And I think you don't agree. No, it's not a harmless, harmless. substance, all right. And right. you know, it's it's blacks. You know, you get the, you trap you trap in the blacks because in well, certain issue. ghetto neighborhoods, it's part of the culture. Nine year old boys and girls are smoking it, and they don't like that. They don't want those kids well, to be uh, targeted by the well, cops. Well, 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 here, here's the issue. It's really funny that all of the stock footage that comes up during this interview, Lewis is of white people smoking marijuana, even though Bill O'Reilly's saying, well, the blacks really are giving the kids weed young. They need to get their get their stuff together on this show. I don't know what's going on, but uh, it kind of embarrassing when something like that happens. Hey, everybody, listen up. An elitist multimillionaire middle aged white guy wants to tell us about life for poor black kids in the ghetto. Listen, because we're about to have wisdom imparted on us. This is on par with uh, there are no homeless veterans uh, when he said that and that poor people have everything they need, including color televisions and uh, all of that stuff. All just all these gems from Bill O'Reilly and air conditioners. I like the the uh, part of this interview where they say it's, it's about the message that's being sent to children because right wingers don't care about a lot of the messages that they're sending to children or they think they're good messages. Like, for example, rich people, police and politicians don't always have to follow the law. More guns will make the world more safe. Putting people in veritable cages for a really long time will teach them to be good and never commit crimes again. If someone needs help because they're sick or poor or running from violence, tell them that actually they don't deserve help and deserve to be in the situation that they're in. And good luck pulling yourself up by the bootstraps. Right wingers are always sending insane messages to the children. But now all of a sudden they're worried about the message that legalizing marijuana might send. Mm. God help the children. Uh, you know, I uh, we could debate. That's a different discussion. But uh, I love how they just can dictate well, what is what is good and bad and, and what's going to destroy our culture and what isn't. It seems like in reality, they're clueless about that. 